Hello! So last month in October, I did Inktober, which is an online challenge where you try to do an ink drawing each day of the month. And so I did that, 31 drawings, but not only did I give myself that challenge, I also wanted to add a couple of other things into the mix, one of which was to take 31 time-lapse videos of myself as I was doing these drawings, and secondly, to also be doing these drawings without the aid of a pencil sketch first. So I was going straight to ink and videoing myself doing that in time-lapse form. Now I've had a lot of people ask what I use for my setup and my equipment for these videos not only for the Inktober, but in the past for the many time-lapse videos and even the real-time videos that I do of myself painting where you're looking straight down at my paper as I go. And so I wanted to show you some of my setup here so that you can see how this is all created. Okay, so first up, if you are videoing yourself doing art or anything else, you need a camera. And I'm not using anything that fancy. I'm just using my cell phone. This is a Galaxy S6, so it's not even a very new one. It is an Android. Uh, and I mention that because the app that I use for my time lapse is called Framelapse Pro. And as far as I know, when I checked last, which was about a year ago, it was not available for non Android devices. But it looks like this when you open it up. And you can go into the settings for this and decide how much of a time lapse, how, how, how sped up you want things to be. I generally keep it on the one second frame interval speed, which I think converts to 30 frames per second. So uh, you can do the math on that <laughs> for how long it takes. But I use that for my filming. And the second thing, I use is this gooseneck. It's called, well, the brand is Avon Tree, and I got it from Amazon. I believe it was about $16 or something. And it has a very nice, flexible, bendable neck. And it also has a clip on the end for holding your phone and a clip for anchoring it to a desk or a table. Now, I tried a few different brands, and I didn't like some of the others that I saw or used because they were too flimsy in the neck part, it was too wobbly, so I wasn't able to really position things accurately. But with this one, I really like it because it's got a nice, it's, it's pretty stable. And I can then position my camera, so I get my frame-lapse program open, and I put it in the clamp facing down, parallel to my table surface as much as possible so that I can get a nice view of what is being worked on. The third thing is a good light source. I have this lamp. It is also very positionable, and that makes it good for angling my light source correctly because it's going to matter what direction the light hits your paper and then bounces back into your camera at because if you have it at the wrong angle you're going to get some strange reflections or strange glossiness going on where you won't be able to see what's happening. So it's very important to have a lamp that is movable, positionable, shiftable like this. And then there are my tools of drawing. I have the paper which I was using I believe a uh, Strathmore Bristol board hot press I have my pens, which consisted of brush pens. These are found in Japanese stationery stores for the most part, or online you can find them. And I will list in the notes what exactly the brands are for these various things. And so this is what I was using for the majority of my Inktober drawings. Now, the other important thing so once you have all the equipment and everything ready to go, then comes the part for where you're actually doing it. And one of the biggest issues I ran into when I first started filming myself drawing and trying to do this 
over the shoulder view of what I was doing, what I was working on, was that I kept bumping my head <laughs> up against my camera as I was working, which was really obnoxious because it would wobble and then I'd have to stop and try to still things and hope that it wasn't messing up my video too much. Or worse, I would have it too high like this and I would film something, you know, half an hour of filming, and then I would realize afterwards that I had my head, I had my head underneath it, and all you could see was the back of my head in the video, which wasn't a use either. So I had to discard a lot of footage that I took early on because I couldn't get used to having this thing here. So it does take a bit of getting used to and maneuvering around until you find the right angle for all your equipment so that it doesn't, so you can work, but it doesn't get in the way. And what I find works the best is to have my gooseneck arm coming off to the side like this so that it's curving around the outside of my workspace. So, you know, here I am looking straight down and I have the arm curving around the side and then my camera, I position it as much as possible at this parallel angle to my desktop, but Sometimes it's not possible to have it exactly, and so I'll angle it ever so slightly down this way, but not too much, not so much that it's really noticeable. You just want to have it a little bit angled um, so that it's, it's, for the most part, your viewers aren't gonna be able to tell that there is any angle whatsoever. And when it's positioned like this, then I can work pretty easily, and I can, I can get in here without knocking my head on this, without, rocking things. The other thing is sometimes you can move it up and down, try to find the best position this way, and you can also zoom in then on your camera to get to the right uh, viewing area of your surface. So mostly it involves a lot of tweaking things around, but it is possible to get your camera positioned so that you don't feel like it is getting in your way or obstructing your view or making things difficult. It is possible to do. I've done it. <laughs> uh, the other thing to be careful about is if you do position it too low, your pen or paintbrush might tap the surface, and I've done that as well. So you have to be careful not to get too low as well as not to get too high and in your face.